first and foremost, and Keith Price. Well, this offense starts with Keith Price, who last season had one of the best seasons that we've seen at quarterback, and there's no reason to think that his numbers can't be better, especially considering his weapons. Tight end Austin, Safarian Jenkins, arguably one of the best tight ends in the country, and on the outside, Cason Williams is one of the most physical, impressive athletes you're going to see put on a football uniform. So there's no question that this offense looks to get better this season. Well, they're going to score points, but the question in Seattle and around the Pac-12 is, can the Huskies stop anybody? Well, last year's defensive performance was just a complete debacle, and they made a lot of changes, the biggest one being in Justin Wilcox, a defensive coordinator from Tennessee. Well, they think they put together a defense that can run, that can cover ground, and more importantly, Kevin, a defense that can tackle. Some familiar faces in the house here. Ryan Katz will be starting for the Aztecs. Two years of starting at State, and Bryce Butler got caught up in a numbers game. Yeah. At the Six three receiver, he could help. Well, Ryan what? Katz had a great sophomore season, but a wrist injury really paved the way for Sean Mannion to be the starter up in Oregon. So now he finds himself here at San Diego State, and he's got a guy in Bryce Butler who can play. The only problem is he was buried on the depth chart by two guys and. Robert Woods and Marquis Lee, but they think here at San Diego State with the connection of these two guys, they can make this offense very explosive. All eyes in Seattle, but they'll be on Keith Price. Why not? With the year he's coming off, 33 touchdowns last year for the Huskies, who start their campaign next, right here on the Pac-12 Network. You're weird.